we need to have a conversation about Pi Auto GUI. And I know most of you might know this a little bit. And what is Pi Auto GUI? Pi Auto GUI is an automation library used in Python to click, drag, scroll, and move. When I say this, you might think, oh, that's quite basic, but that's all you do when you're on a computer. Just think about it. When you're on the computer, you type, and Pi Auto GUI does the same thing. It can type for you. When you're on the computer, you can click, and Pi Auto GUI can click for you. When you're on the computer, you scroll. Pi Auto GUI can scroll. When you're on the computer, you drag, and Pi Auto GUI also drags. So this can literally do whatever you're doing right now. It can do it for you. And you can for sure automate it and program it in a certain way for it to do it. You can also make it sleep and wake up again after a certain amount of time. And what's crazy is you could even make it get triggered by something. So something external could trigger it. So it starts writing or it starts clicking or it starts dragging or it starts actually just doing whatever you want it to do. Now, what I'm going to show you right here is all the different things you can do with Pi Auto GUI because I made a spam bot with Pi Auto GUI and a lot of you loved it, but I felt you were limiting yourself because you really need to know how powerful this is and why this is one of the best automation packages or libraries that Python has. So you know what? Let's get started. What I'm first going to do, I'm just, I already have a project called Pi Auto GUI. What I'll do is create a main.py, a Python file. And I'm using PyCharm as my IDE, but you can use whatever you want. So the first thing we need to do is we need to install this. And the way I'm going to install it, I'll go to my terminal right here. And I'll say pip install Pi Auto GUI. Now that it has finally installed, the next thing we do is we need to import it. So this is just basic way of actually using a module, using a package, or using a library, is after you install it, you import it. So we'll say import Pi to GUI. Now what I want to do is I want us to print, and what we're going to print here, we're going to print the screen of our the size of our screen. So we'll say Pi to GUI dot size. Now let's run this. You can see right here, this is the size of my screen. Now we see our screen size. What else can we do with this? Now what I want us to do next is I want us to use the Pi Auto GUI move to function. So the way we use that, we'll say print, I'll say Pi Auto GUI again, dot move to. And here I'll just give it some coordinates. And I'll give it also a duration of 10. Okay, so let me run it. Now, I hope you can see right here that the mouse is actually moving to the coordinates that we set it to. And it's going to do that for 10 seconds. So this is one of the cool things you can do with this. I'm saying it right now. This is replacing us, the humans, because it does practically everything that we do on a computer. And you can see that the inputs we're basically telling it where we want it to go to, and we're telling it the time it will take from where it is to where it should be. Now that we've done this, you know what? Let me show you something else. I'm going to show you next the click function. So the way I'm going to show you the click function is I'm going to say pi auto GUI. Then I'll say dot click. I'll say x is equal to 300. Again, that's the x coordinate. You can say y is equal to 300. After that, we'll say clicks. I'll say five clicks. That's what I want. I can do as many as you want. I'll also put an interval. And I'll put two. And that this interval right here is the seconds between the clicks. And finally, I'll say the button. I want it to be the right
Now let's run this. You can see it's actually clicking. And now it's stopped. I want to show you the drag to function. Say pi also GUI dot drag to four hundred four hundred the coordinates and then the duration we'll give it ten seconds. So let's run it and see what it does. And you can see it is actually dragging it. So this just shows you, this is what you perform. This is what you're doing with your computer. And you have an app, you have a program that is doing exactly that. You just need to set the coordinates and it will drag it to wherever you want it to go, which I find really cool. What we'll need to do is we'll also need to import time. And why we're importing time is that we want to import time to get enough time to actually switch between the window where we where the text is and where we also want it to be typed. Now what we'll say next, we'll say time.sleep. Set it to five seconds. We'll say pi also GUI dot type right. It says What's up guys? I can write like you. Next, we'll actually give it an interval. Of one. And you can see it actually writing it. So you can see that the program is writing what we just did right here. It's writing it and there's a delay of one second. It's basically telling you right now, what's up guys? I can write like you. And this is what you do. This is exactly what you do on the computer and the computer is doing it right now in front of us. So this is just the things that I feel a lot of people don't know they can do with this. And that's what makes Pi Auto GUI so cool and one of my favorite libraries. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, please. And yeah, I just wanted to show you all the things you can do with Pi Auto GUI because I find it to be a very underrated library. Really cool stuff. Basically replacing we the humans when it comes to interaction with the computer, making life easy. And the best thing, it doesn't whine too. It just does what you program it to do. Does it even if it's a billion times, as far as you're charging it, it's going to do that. Yeah, so that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you all on the next one.